I've had the iPhone 15 Pro Max for six months, and I wanna share my long-term user perspective with this device. I'll be talking about new features like the action button and USB-C, how the titanium is holding up, how I use the camera, what's my battery life and battery health like, and if I think it's still worth picking one up. Hey everyone, it's Andrew, and welcome back to the channel. I've been using the 15 Pro Max every single day since it launched, every single day. And genuinely, I love this device. I've said this a few times on other videos, but this is the best iPhone experience that I've ever had. Every category of this device is top tier, and we're gonna start with build quality. The titanium frame is holding up extremely well. I inspected it very closely and can't find any scratches, and honestly, I knew this would probably be the case because titanium on the Apple Watch Ultra is very similar, and that is extremely durable. The back glass for me hasn't suffered any damages as well. The ceramic shield does have some scratches. I did try a matte screen protector earlier when I got this device, and I really liked it. But I do like to have no screen protector on, so I decided to take it off, and it's taken on some scratches. So keep in mind, Ceramic Shield is good, but it's not anti-scratch. So for me, the phone is holding up great and the build quality is really good. And just to mention, this is my first Pro Max device. And so after six months, it's actually pretty nice. And it's mainly down to the fact that it is using a titanium build. So it makes the device a lot lighter and it's really comfortable in hand because of the titanium as well as the contoured edges and the bezels are super thin, so it's a joy to look at this screen as well. And for me, natural titanium was the right choice, and I have no complaints about my selection, and I think it's the best iPhone color that's ever come out. Now, one of the biggest features that was announced was the action button, and at first, like in the first couple weeks, it was really cool. A ton of other tech YouTubers were doing videos of how to create shortcuts with it and what you could link it to, but honestly, I found myself not noticing it at all. I just have it switch to silent mode or ringer on, and it's pretty much the same to me as the mute switch. I barely even notice it. Performance has been pretty good as well. iOS 17 has been solid. I can't think of a time with overheating or bug issues or any problems. I mostly use apps like YouTube and Twitter, and really the A17 Pro chip handles that super easily. So I'm really not outperforming it in any way, just doing normal stuff. I did update to iOS 17.4 and I haven't had any issues with that either. I think for me, my favorite feature has been the updates to the iPhone's camera this year. The 5X telephoto lens is fantastic. The photos look sharp, colors look natural. And recently I was at the St. Pete Pier, kind of near where I live, it's like 45 minutes away. We went out for a day and I just got to take some really amazing photos and it's just a really nice camera to use. I really wanna see improvements to the ultra wide lens. It's just not good and it's not sharp, it's blurry, it's really noisy. So it's not my favorite lens to use. Next gen portraits is incredible and being able to change the focal length in edit after is amazing. I do think the variety of having seven pro lenses in your pocket is just outrageous and the phone is still so small and compact, it is a joy to use. It's helped me take better pictures and more difficult or different situations than I could with the 14 Pro. And so I'm really pleased with the camera system that's on the 15 Pro Max. It's as good as a smartphone camera can get. Now, I typically record in 4K at 60 FPS. I know you can record in log now and you can record in 4K Pro Res at 60 FPS. Right now, I just use basically what the camera provides me just based off of what Apple's color grading is. I'm fine with the way that my videos look now. Hopefully in the future, I actually do learn to use that more and get into more log filming. But for now, I don't use it. I don't want to skip out on a really key feature that is going to be useful for the years to come. It's going to be spatial video, which you can use your 15 Pro Max to record spatial videos. And I've actually got to use it and use it with my Vision Pro. It is really incredible to be able to relive those memories and relive those moments. And so it's not necessarily a feature that's impacting my day to day, but 10 years down the road, it's going to be really cool to see and look back at those memories. Let's talk about USB-C and honestly, it's so good and it is a shame that Apple took so long to adopt 
this universal way that we can charge our phones, but it's actually more than just charging the phone. I have noticed I use MagSafe a lot less because charging seems to be quicker. I know it's definitely better than MagSafe charging, but it just feels a lot faster to me. And being able to transfer photos and videos and transfer it over into my iPad is actually extremely useful. And I have found it to be way, way faster than AirDrop. And so that's been a really good thing and made my workflows for this a lot more efficient. Let's talk about battery. Whether I'm using it a lot for the day or a little bit, I have gotten through pretty much every single day without any problem. And when I say got through the day, I'm ending the day around nine or 10 with still 20% battery left. Right now, over the last 10 days, I'm using about eight hours of average screen time on my phone. And then there's about three hours on the idle time, which I think has been pretty good. And like I said, I get through the whole day. And then if I go into my battery health, my battery health is currently 100%. It's lasting throughout the day and it's been a way better experience for me than the previous iPhone model that I had. So it's been six months and do I regret this purchase or not? And I can honestly say I have no regrets with this iPhone, literally none. It is my favorite iPhone that I've ever owned. It is the best iPhone that I've ever owned. It's by far the best iPhone I think that Apple's ever made. And I'm really happy that this year I went from the pro size to pro max. And just honestly, everything about this device, from the build quality, the way it feels in hand, the camera, the battery life, the battery performance, and the overall experience with iOS and looking forward to iOS 18, it has been a fantastic purchase for me. And so do I think you should get it? And obviously, if you need an iPhone right now and you wanna upgrade, I do think you should. I'm okay with telling you, go ahead and get the new iPhone, get the 15 Pro Max. You are going to love this iPhone so much. And if you're someone that doesn't upgrade every year, this is going to last you many, many, many years to come. So if you have the 15 Pro Max, let us know in the comments what your experience has been like. This has been my experience. And honestly, it is the best iPhone I've ever used. And I can't recommend it more. I've actually convinced my mom to get it. I've convinced my mother-in-law to get it, my sister-in-law to get it. So everybody, pretty much my family, has gone with the 15 Pro Max this year, and they're all loving this device. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this kind of video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching, God bless, and I will see you on the next video.